Hi, my name is David and I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Chemistry at Northwestern University, working under the guidance of Professor Chad Merkin. I completed my bachelor's degree at the Technical University of Munich and my master's degree at the University of Cambridge. Today, I will introduce you to the topic of materials discovery through nanocombinatorics, which is a new strategy to integrate nanoscience and technology with machine learning and artificial intelligence, AI, to discover new materials at an unprecedented pace. Throughout the history of humankind, the discovery of new materials has significantly contributed to the progress of our society. From the use of stone tools in the Stone Age and the discovery of the first alloys in the Bronze Age, to the application of complex synthetic materials in modern devices, such as airplanes or computers, our ability to find and apply materials with new and unique properties and functions has consistently been tied to major advances in everyday technologies that change the way we live. Over the past decades, new materials were developed with the rise of nanotechnology, such as catalysts for energy processing or biomarkers for sensing diseases. Scientists discovered that material properties are affected not only by their composition, but also their size and shape. When materials are nanoscale in size, their properties are very different from those of their bulk counterparts. Gold, for example, is a material that we know is shiny and yellow in bulk form. We are familiar with gold rings and metals. But the nanoscale gold particles can be almost any color depending on their size and shape. The new properties that emerge based on the miniaturization of materials have been unknowingly exploited for centuries to color glass windows and other pieces of art. But more recently, we have learned how they can be deliberately used in areas like medicine, biotechnology and clean energy. We are constantly finding new materials with exciting properties that can impact our lives. Examples from the last centuries include aerogels, amorphous metals, silicon and high entropy alloys. Unfortunately, this discovery process traditionally has been very slow. Until now, most scientists design, synthesize and test materials one by one, which is time consuming and inefficient. It takes years to decades to discover new revolutionary materials. To make matters worse, an almost infinite number of material combinations exist. For example, tainted periodic table, a tool chemists use to organize elements into groups based on their electronic and chemical properties. There are trillions of possible combinations of the 91 metallic elements alone. If you consider that their properties not only change as a function of composition, but also as a function of material size and shape at the nanoscale, the actual number of combinations is significantly higher. It would be impractical to investigate all of these possibilities with traditional serial methods. So, in order to find a new useful material among all these possibilities, an entire new strategy is needed to synthesize and investigate the extraordinary large number of possibilities in a high throughput fashion. This strategy is called nanocombinatorics. At Northwestern University's International Institute for Nanotechnology, we have developed a new technology to synthesize individual nanomaterials at predefined locations on solid supports. This approach works by depositing a nanoscale droplet containing precursor molecules onto a surface using a nanoscale tip and then subsequently heating it to yield a single nanoparticle. What makes this technique so versatile is that nanoparticle size can be easily changed by varying the size of the deposited nanoscale droplet and the composition of the resulting nanoparticle is primarily dependent on what kind of metal ions are present in the initial nanoreactor. This allows for a variety of materials to be synthesized with exceptional control over the composition. We can predefine and fine-tune the exact stoichiometry of two metals, for example. We can also mix multiple metals together to synthesize complex multimetallic nanoparticles simply by adding all of the appropriate components into these nanoreactors. In addition to metallic nanoparticles, we can also synthesize ionic nanoparticles or state-of-the-art nanomaterials such as halide perovskites, which are used in optical displays and all sorts of photonic devices. One major advantage of this strategy is its scalability. We can deposit one nanoreactor at a time using a single tip, but by using a massive number of tips in parallel, as many as 11 millions to date, we can synthesize up to 5 billion positionally encoded nanomaterials in a single experiment. In one year's time, we will have synthesized a trillion new materials using this approach. We can also deliberately vary the composition and sizes of every single one of these nanoparticles by simply changing the precursor distribution and the deposition conditions to create massive arrays of different nanoparticles. These nanoparticle mega-libraries 
are ideally suited to screen and investigate new materials in a high-throughput fashion. Indeed, more new inorganic materials can be prepared in a single experiment than the total number of materials that have been serially synthesized by mankind to date, allowing us to discover design rules for engineering nanoparticles for energy, catalysis, and photonics at an unprecedented pace. Currently, we are identifying new multimetallic electrocatalysts that can efficiently convert the harmful greenhouse gas carbon dioxide into useful chemicals like fuels. We do so by generating mega libraries of different metallic compositions and screening them using advanced high throughput techniques to test their catalytic capabilities. These newly formed materials potentially form a new pathway towards a sustainable future powered by green fuels. We have combined our large-scale synthetic strategy with automated combinatorial high-throughput characterization techniques and design strategies assisted by AI to form the world's most powerful materials discovery platform and source of high-quality big data. For example, using big data provided by our material libraries, we trained a machine learning algorithm to identify and guide us to synthesize the most complex biphasic nanoparticle ever made. That's a nanoparticle containing many different elements, but only one phase boundary, which has promising application in catalysis. A major advantage of this platform is its generalizability. In theory, it can be used to discover new materials useful in any reaction or for any function or property spanning catalysis, photonics, sensing to new future applications we have not even identified yet. At the International Institute for Nanotechnology, we are discovering next generation materials for a new era of modern technologies and rapidly accelerating the discovery of new materials that will benefit our society. And we can't wait to see what the future holds. Thank you for listening.